I go to sleep, try to go to sleep. I wake up in the morning, go to Lieutenant Colonel Peacocks, and I say, listen, I'm going to get out of the Army because I'm going to go pursue my dreams, but thank you for everything you got me. Everything he got that I wanted on my orders, he got me. I get out. I struggle. First business, fails. Second business, fails. I try to personal profit portal, internet, sale, fails. All these things I do fails. I'm working at Bally's. I quit my job to try to do a business. I'm in debt $49,000. I go back to recruiting to say, if I go back into the Army, what would I get? negotiations come in because there's a part of it that can pay off your debt if you sign in for six, eight years. I'm like, that's great. I'll go back into the army. Then I get this one message saying, hang in there. See what happens. A little bit longer. Hang in there. A little bit longer. Hang in there. A little bit longer. I hang in there. I applied to get a job at Morgan Stanley Dean Wood. I applied to a hundred different places. I was hustling to get a resume in. I eventually got the job. They offered me three jobs. I went in without a four-year degree, two-year degree. I hadn't taken a test for three years because I, four years, I'd gone out. I don't know what it is to take a test for four years, right? My brain's not been working with tests. My brain's been working with push-ups, pull-ups, you know, all that stuff. I go take the Series 7 exam. I'm studying day and night. I don't know if I'm going to pass this. I'm taking a test. I press that button. You don't know what's going to happen. Morgan fires you if you don't pass the test. And when I'm pressing it, I said, if I fail, I'm re-enlisting to the Army today. I swear to God. And I press boom. 30 second pause. It's a Anxiety. six hour test. Dude, I can't even tell you what my exam. I was in Culver City at the. How old were you at this point? To 21, 22 years old. Wow. Result shows up 78%. I said, no freaking way. 78%. I get to keep my job. So I go back and I show it to Morgan. Said, you got 70%. I said, I got 78%. Damn, none of us thought you were going to get 78%. I said, dude, I don't think I got 78%. <laughs> got 78 freaking percent. What point did you yeah. do? So then I stay. I work my ass off. My dad has a heart attack rather than partying five days a week. I put my head into the books and I start reading. A girl the other night, we're having dinner and everybody's talking about their school. So I went to this school. I went to that school. And I'm just enjoying all the conversations because like, oh, I got my MBA. I got my master's. I got my PhD. I'm like, freaking this is all. I'm the last one. This is sick. So what school did you go to? I, I didn't go to college. No, come on, Pat. What's university? I'm telling you, I never went to college. I had a one point AGP in high school. I, community colleges wouldn't accept me. No way. You, you're too smart to not. Come on, what college? I said, I'm telling you. I read 2,000 business books, and I studied topics. So if I chose a topic, I bought 20 books on that topic, and I read just that topic, that subject, for two months. Then I went to the next topic, and the next. That's what I did. So some people who want to say the rich people have these special gifts and all this other stuff, I'm sorry, you just don't want to read books. You'd much rather watch Netflix. So that argument is, I believe, anybody can reach their capacity. Sure. Anybody has that shot, but it takes so much freaking work, pain that not a lot of people want to go through. Don't get me wrong. Life happens to uh, many different people. I'm, I'm not here to judge. But all I'm saying is the system of capitalism, mm -hmm. sure. the greatest system in the world that allows a guy like me who doesn't have nowhere in my life you can pinpoint to say this guy was going to win a life. Not one thing you can pinpoint. Nothing. Yeah. Not one thing you can pinpoint. That's why I believe in capitalism. Versus my family believed in communism. My family believed in socialism. Now I'm like, listen, just leave me alone. Let me see what I can do. If my market's 50, I'm good. I'm happy because I'm giving my best. If my market pays 75, I'm happy because I'm giving my best. But if I keep bringing value to the marketplace, all of a sudden an opportunity is going to come up. Yeah. And you can't predict that opportunity. All of a sudden someone's going to say, you know what? We're going to do this project. I want you to be a part of it. Here's how it's going to work out. Freaking boom, your name pops up. What the hell just happened here? Because behind closed doors, rather than throwing the towel, you're giving your best. Capitalism works. It's those who don't work that hate capitalism, unfortunately. Those who don't work and don't improve. Some say, I work my ass off, but they don't read books. It's those two criteria. You got to work. You got to improve. You got to have a decent attitude. If you have that Outla capital, it's going to fail you. Out last, you say. Just the first two. Just okay. the first two. The what? first two will land you a good job. Listen, nothing about what I said has to do with my last name. Mm -hmm. Nothing with what I said has to do with the school I went to. Nothing with what I said has to do with certain God-giving. Nothing with what I said has to do with that. Formula is very transferable to others. I don't jump 46 inches. My name is not LeBron James and I jump 46 inches. I'm not that guy, okay? I, I'm not a uh, s statistician that I can just go through some of the stats, that stuff and I'm Ray Dalio. No, I'm not that guy. It's called work your ass off and improve. I challenge anybody to do the following. Take four subjects, sales, negotiation, human nature, and money. Go to Amazon. I will fund this if somebody wants to do this. You do it, you come back to me, nothing changed, I'll fund the whole cost that you had here. Four topics. Read every book on negotiation, above 400 reviews on Amazon, that's four, four plus star. Read any book that's above four star, 25 of them, 400 reviews on sales. 
Read any book on human nature, psychology, persuasion, negotiation, any of that stuff. Forced, like how to win friends, you know, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Then read any book on money with 400 plus reviews. Read uh, principles, like things like that by Dalio, by Buffett. And for two years, obsess over doing that. For two years, obsess over doing that. Two years later, work your ass off and improve in a marketplace. Figure out a way to improve your attitude. Sometimes half the battle is people have some shitty, negative, unattractive attitudes. They're a crap magnet. Everything is shitty. Everything is complaining. Everything is somebody else's fault. Nobody is turned on by somebody that constantly blames somebody else. Nobody. I go on, I, when I was single, I'd go on dates and I would talk to a girl. My last boss was a jerk. My last boss was an asshole. I said, out of your last five bosses, which one of them were assholes? All of them. I'm like, it's not the boss's problem. It's you. <laughs> it ain't no boss's problem. It's your attitude sucks. Yeah. Within an hour, you saw the attitude. Right. Come back to me two years from now. Matter of fact, you won't even come back to me because you forgot about it because you're killing the marketplace. The market rewards people who outwork and out improve. It's proven. This doesn't mean you're going to be a millionaire in two years. Yeah. This doesn't mean you're going to be a billionaire in two years. Here's what it does mean too. Your market value is increasing. Somebody may offer you something special next two years. Some opportunities come up. You go into a company. How many guys, you know, work at a company for 50, 60, $80,000? Company starts growing. Next thing you know, they're making 100, 150, 200. Next thing you know, they get shares. Behind closed doors, they're investing money into a 401k retirement, whatever. Then 10 years later, the company has an exit. This guy gets a $6.8 million check. How the hell did you do it? And you know how many people have done this, by the way? A lot. Not, not, not 10,000. You know, not not 100,000. Millions have done this. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. And don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.